Well, hi everyone. Um, thank you for joining me here tonight, live with Pima. My name is Boda, and I'm really excited to share with you my very first project, and this is actually my very first live Ustream show. I'm going to share with you how to create and alter this uh, serving tray. It's a wooden serving tray. I'm not sure. Is it the light too bright? Can you guys see that? Is it too bright? Is the lighting too bright? Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and um, pan you guys down real quick to my work area here. And we'll get started. So let me just kind of adjust this real quick. So, um, okay, so let's get started here. So again, this is what I'm going to make tonight. Is it too bright? Is the bright? Is it too bright? It is. Okay. How about that? Is that better? Is the lighting a little bit better? Can you guys see that better? Let me see. If, let me hold on. Let me adjust something real quick. Is that okay? Is that good? Lots? Okay. Much better? Okay, good. Okay, great. So, okay, so basically, um, you can get this uh, unfinished wood tray at any of your local craft store. Um, they do come in a variety of different sizes. Um, I picked this one in particular to fit um, the doll stamp. And as you can see, it's just a plain, unfinished tray. And what I'm going to do to it is I'm just going to add some acrylic paint. It's, this is just some basic, it's a parchment color acrylic paint. And I'm just going to paint around the tray. I'm not going to cover the whole entire thing. And the reason why I do that is because I like to keep the look of the unfinished wood if that makes sense. So I'm just going to just dab a little bit, like so. You know, not a lot. Again, I'm just going to take a, you know, just a plain, simple foam brush, and I'm just going to just paint it around the tray. Again, I'm not covering the whole thing completely because I like the look of the unfinished wood. So I'm just you know, covering it ever so slightly here. And this part right here in the middle, as you can see, um, the one that I shared with you, is going to be covered with paper. So I'm not too worried about this one being completely covered with paint. Uh, my main focus is just the sides and the handle right here is where I want to cover it. So I'm just going to work the paint around the wood here. And the acrylic paint, it dries really quick, so I really don't need to use my heat gun. So you can see um, how I'm painting it, just really lightly, not too much, just enough. Okay, and then I'm just going to, you know, squirt a little bit more on my brush here. And I'm going to do the sides. Oh, can you see that? I'm going to do the sides here. And then I'm going to do this side here. You can use any brush. I just prefer to use the foam brush because it seems to apply the paint nicely. Um, it doesn't leave those brush marks when I'm placing it, you know, adding it onto the wood. It's just so you don't have to, you know, this part you don't have to be perfect how you place the paint. It's just getting a little bit covered there. OK, 
Okay, so let me just get this side right here. And I don't um, add any to the back because again that oops that gets covered with the paper. So we'll just am I even a camera here? Oh my gosh, okay. I'm sorry guys, I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to get used to this. Okay. Okay, so I just maybe add a little bit here because this part is raised on the back. So I'm just going to add a little bit. Like so. Thank you, Alicia. I'm sorry if I get out of frame sometimes. I'm not used to watching what I'm doing as I'm creating here. Okay, so that, that's all I do with the acrylic paint. Again, I don't apply too much, just enough. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the color blue spray, and this is color tea stain. This is a really gorgeous color. If you want that vintage distress look, this is the perfect color for you. And what's nice about the spray is it has the safety mechanism on it, which is really nice. So for those of you that attend crops or like to take it with you, it'll prevent it from spilling all over the place, which is really nice. It's just this piece of plastic here that just locks right underneath it, um, which is really nice. And the spray, basically, there's two different ways to use the spray. If you want a splatter effect, you just basically just tap it just a little bit but if you want more of a full coverage, then you would obviously um, push this all the way back and that will give you a full coverage. But what I'm gonna do, um, I'm basically just going to, I wanna get more of a washed look. So I'm just gonna spray, I'm just gonna tap it lightly, like so. You guys can see that, see how I'm doing that? I'm just tapping it, whoop tapped a little too much there. So I'm just gonna use my hands. I love to, you know, get my hands dirty when I create. And it gives it, see if you guys could see that. I don't know if that's just a little too bright. I'm so sorry with the lighting. It's like really bright out here still. Is it too bright? Can you guys see that? So you just basically just spray it until you get the color or the stain that you like. And it dries really quickly, um, which is really nice. So I'm just doing that to the outside of the tray and the inside of the tray. So let's go ahead and oops, spray that. It's hard to get this tray in, in the camera here. And again, I'm just using my fingers. So it gives some, um, can you guys see that? I'm so sorry for the, the brightness here. It's hard to see the stain here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side as well. And I'm just, you can see here, I'm just tapping it. I'm not tapping it a lot. Cause I want that washed look to it. There, you can see that better, right? Yeah, that looks better. So you can see I'm just taking my fingers and I'm just swiping it. Gives it that old um, stained look to it. Okay, and so I'm gonna do this side right here. Just tap it a little bit. And just do that. Doesn't need to be perfect, which is nice. Anytime you see anything that's distressed, it never looks perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of it inside the tray. Make sure I can get this in camera here. And I'm okay if I get a little bit in the center because that's gonna get covered with paper anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Can you guys see that okay? You see how it's stained? So I'm gonna do that to all four sides. I'm, again, I'm just tapping it lightly. So I don't want the complete tray to get covered. I'm 
just going to add a little on this side. I'm going to add some here. Okay, so that's that's all I do with that. Um, I don't do too much to it. I just like to keep it a little bit simple. So next I'm going to layer the design paper on top. And the paper that I'm going to use to layer down is this paper right here. Beautiful, gorgeous paper. The collection that I'm using is the Bella Rouge collection. And this one is Les Amour. And this is number 847111. And look how gorgeous this paper is. It's so pretty. And then that's the back. Okay. So I pre-cut that already. And um, this basically, this measures 7 and 7 eighths by 11 and a quarter. And I'm just going to place it inside the tray. Now I'm using this glue. I'm in love with this glue. It's by Helmar. It's just called Craft Glue. And what's nice about this glue is, it's one, it's clear and it doesn't bubble. So when you add this glue on paper, you will not see any bubbles. And I love that. So even if you put it on wood, paper, chipboard, it does not bubble. So I'm just going to add some to the back. Get just a nice coverage here. Just cover it like so. And then I'm going to add it to the tray. Give it a nice good press, like so. Okay, can you see that? Really nice. Okay, so now I also added paper to the back of the tray. And that paper that I used is this gorgeous paper called Les Roses Rouge. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It was 847128 is the number. And isn't this gorgeous? So pretty. And then here's the back of that. It's really pretty paper. Okay, so I'm gonna cover the back with this side right here. And again, it's the same measurement. 7 7 eighths by 11 and a quarter. So I'm just going to place it like so. And I'm going to add again some adhesive. So just get a good amount of coverage here. Okay, and then just Add it on. So this tray, um, I really like this serving tray because, um, for one, my mom, she loves, you know, anything to do with the kitchen. And to be able to display this in the kitchen is really fun. You can display this anywhere, you know, in your home. It could be your craft room, it could be in your room and um, in your kitchen, it doesn't really matter. I made the one that I created specifically for my girls um, because I like to teach my girls that, you know, you're beautiful inside and out. And this collection was just um, perfect. And, you know, I'm, as many of you already know, I love Julie Nighting's dolls and her stamps are just amazing. Okay, so that's what I did. So that's the inside and then that's the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish the inside. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to layer um, some paper. So I also used the 6x6 six six pad. It's a coordinating paper pad. 
and the number for this pad is let's see here is 847272 I'll give you a quick look at the papers so that it's also double sided as well really gorgeous papers love this collection okay so I'm going to take this design right here this one right here it's the same one as I have on the back and then I'm just going to layer it just right here on the side and I like to distress um, a lot of times my paper and this is the distressing tool by Invilt. it's a really nice distressing tool I like it because it it gives a nice grip when you're holding it, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just distress it like so. And when I distress, I usually distress towards me. I mean, there's no, really there's no right or wrong way to distress, but I, I usually do it towards me. that okay so that's all I do for that one and then I just layer it let me see let me just take all the pieces off there and I'm just gonna place it like so onto the tray okay and then again use the same glue I love to layer a lot of my projects. Um, it just, it's really fun. And I love the dimension to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this down, like so. Well, actually, you know what? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot this piece. Okay, I forgot I'm supposed to layer this first. So this is the back of this paper right here. Okay, and this one is again. This is see the Laymore's paper. So it was this side right here. It's the back of this side. So I gotta lay that down first. Sorry about that. Totally forgot about that piece. I'm just gonna distress that real quick. So I'll add some glue to that. And then I just place that just right here in the center. Just like so. And then I gotta layer this on top of that. like that okay so I just layer that okay and then next I'm going to layer this piece right here it's this one right here and I got this from the 6 by 6 paper pad um, it was this paper right here which is this one really gorgeous paper and I used this die by Prima it's called um, enchanted really beautiful die I use the largest one right here I love this die set okay so I'm just gonna layer that right here just like that okay so let me go ahead and glue that down Yeah, this is um, Hilmar Premium Craft Glue. This is amazing glue. I, I love the fact that it just, it doesn't bubble. That's what I loved about it. Okay, wait, I got that upside down. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so I just placed this in the center. 
Okay, like so. Okay, now next I'm going to use um, the Julie Nutting doll. And the doll that I used is the new doll. Um, her name is Audrey, right here. She's super gorgeous. She also has a coordinating hat. And this item number is 911119. Really pretty. Okay, so I used her. And to save time, I did pre stamp her. So let me just move this to the side real quick. I did pre stamp her on um, Julie's buff pad. I love this pad because it has, you know, different shades of skin color that you can use, which is amazing. I love this. Um, especially if you're not into coloring, this is just, this is the perfect paper pad to have. And this um, item number is, let's see if I can read it upside down, it's 910327. Okay, so I stamped her on that, and I used a black memento ink to stamp her. And then I'm just going to fussy cut her out. And like Julie, I don't know, I, I like to use large scissors. Before the beginning, I like to use smaller scissors, but for some reason, I like to use larger scissors now. And I just find it easier to fussy cut with. So I'm going to fussy cut her out real quick. And you don't have to worry so much when you're fussy cutting out, getting exactly um, to the line because I like to distress the edges anyhow. And when you fussy cut, there's honestly there's no right or wrong. I like to turn the paper as I go. It just makes cutting faster. I'm just cutting her out. Show the camera here. So you guys can see how I fussy cut. Not that it's really exciting to watch, but I actually do get a lot of questions on fussy cutting. But again, you don't have to get exactly to the line. It's okay if you're a little bit off. You can just stress the edge. You can see I'm just turning the paper as I go. done with her. So I'm trying to, uh, I'm going to try to look at the chat at the same time. Yeah, fussy cutting is, it's, it take. I don't know for me, I don't know if for some reason it's relaxing to me. I mean, I could fussy cut all day if I wanted to, but sometimes my hand tends to hurt after a while. Okay, almost done with her. There we go. So that's how I fussy cut her out. So that's the doll. Okay, so now I'm gonna. Um, I'm just going to layer some of the design paper from the 6x6 paper pad. So this is going to be her skirt. And then I'm going to add this as her top. Okay. I also have another piece that is, so what did I do with that piece? I took a piece from this, um, this design to make her, her belt. 
So let's go ahead and cut out her skirt real quick here. Is the lighting okay? Is it too dark? Is it getting dark? Can you guys see me? Let me know if it gets too dark because it's starting to get um, dark over here. Maybe I can see if I can get my husband to turn the light on. Let me know if it gets dark, guys, okay? Oh, hey, Gina! Yay, Gina's here. Okay, so I'm just going to fussy cut this. And I just use um, Distress Ink to distress the edges. Um, this particular one is Frayed Burlap. Let me see if I can get my husband to turn the light on. It's starting to get dark over here. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay. So I'm just distressing her skirt, the edge of her skirt. That's, again, that's why I'm not worried too much about getting so close to the edge, because I distress it anyway. And then let me distress her real quick. So what time am I at? Oh, I better speed it up here. Oh, wait, one second. Did I lose you guys here? Oh, there you are. Sorry. Okay, so she's okay. And I, I'm not going to cut this out right here, if you guys could see that, that little piece. I'm, I'm just going to, actually, you know what, I did cut it out. So I'm going to cut those two pieces out right here, around her arm. Let me just cut those out real quick. So I'm just going to fussy cut around there. do this side right here okay okay so now I'm going to add her skirt real quick let me add her skirt So I'm adding the skirt to the doll, and now I need a fussy cut out, let me see her belt real quick here. It's really tiny, this little piece. Let me just dress it real quick. I'm just adding her belt. It's really tiny. Okay, now I'm going to cut her top. Let's just cut her top out real quick. And again, this is from the 6x6 paper pad, um, which is really perfect for these dolls because the images are much smaller than from the 12x12. So they're perfect for the girls' outfits. OK, 
Okay. Let's just cut this out here. It's really intricate, so I have to get really close to it. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to distress that. Okay, so I'm going to add the glue to the back of her shirt here. Now for her hair, I used the buff paper pad as well, and I just took the darker shade for her hair. Oh, thank you, Delena. I'm so used to fussy cutting. It just comes natural, I guess. <laughs> When you do it so much, you get so used to it. You could pretty much use any scissors, really. Okay. Oh, wait. I have to cut her face out. Just cut out her face. Okay, so that looks good. So there's her hair, super tiny, but I'm going to just dress the edge, like so. Okay, and now I'm just going to glue it to the doll here. Like so. cute. So that's our little doll right here. You guys can see that. I just have to color her shoes. And I'm just going to take, um, actually you know what? I have to stamp her shoe. I forgot to stamp her shoe. Oh no. Okay. Hold on one second. I gotta stamp her shoe. I forgot to do that. So I'm just gonna take one of the papers. I'll take this one just because I want to make her shoe red. So I'll use this paper right here. And I'll stamp it. Get the doll here. Mm, what did I do with the doll? Let me just take the doll out real quick and stamp it. And Julie came out with these really cool um, watercolor pencils that you can use. And I'm excited to work with that. So I'm just going to stamp. I'm not going to even put it on a stamping block because I just need her shoe. <clears throat> I'm just going to stamp it real quick. Okay, I forgot to do that. Sorry about that. So let me just cut this real quick here because I still have to cut the flowers. Let's see where am I at? Okay. So let me just cut this real quick. This is really, really tiny. So you guys could s will see how I cut these little tiny pieces out. All right, so there we go. And I also just dress this as well. Okay, 
So there's her shoe. So let me just add a little glue to her shoe. I put a little too much there. Okay, there we go. If I have extra, I just take a piece of paper and wipe it off. There's excess glue coming out. There. Okay. So there's my doll. You guys can see that. Okay, so now I'm going to add jewelry on her. And this is so neat. I'm so excited about this. Julie came out with the Say It in crystals. And these are the bling. It comes in pearls and um, diamonds. And this number is 911164. And they're perfect for the dolls. I love the jewelry. So I'm going to add a necklace and bracelet. So you can see it comes with bracelets and necklaces. Really cute. I'm going to add that to the doll. So I'm going to use this one right here and then this uh, bracelet right there. Super cute. I'm just going to add this on real quick. Love the jewelry. And then let me just add the bracelet here. Place it right there. Isn't it adorable? Look at that. That is so cute. Okay, so now I'm going to add her here because I have to start adding my flowers. So let me glue. Actually, I put pop dots on her. So let me just put some pop dots behind her real quick. Because I like her to be dimensional. So no particular spot, you know, just enough to get good coverage here on the doll. And then I'm just going to add one to her head and then maybe her feet. So I'll add one to her head and then I'll add one to her feet as well. Okay. So let's just take these out. Love working with these dolls. I mean, there's just so many projects that you can do with these doll stands. So thank you, thank you, Julie, for creating these. Okay. So here we go. So we're going to lay her right here in the center. I put her in the center. And I'm going to make sure her feet hits the bottom of the tray. Like so. There we go. You guys can see that. It's really, really cute. Okay. So now I'm going to start working with the flowers. Yay. Love the flowers. Okay. So let's see here. Let me just kind of reference off my other one here. So I have um, I have this the note cards, and these are beautiful. This is um, item number five seven eight nine three zero. Really pretty note cards. You can layer these, use them as tags. So many different ways that you could use these. And I'm going to use this one right here, where it says "Love is Beauty," and I'm going to fussy cut that out. This one right here. Just this part right here because I added it to right here I added it right here on the top so I'm gonna fussy cut that out really quick here Make sure you guys can see here so I'm gonna keep the leaves because I like the leaves so I'm just gonna work it real quick don't mind me if I get silent Cut that real quick here. Cut 
that. Cut the leaves. I'm cutting the leaves also. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to just dress that as well. Okay, and I added that to the corner, the top left corner right here. So let me just add some glue. Okay, so just add that right here. Love is beauty. Really pretty. Okay, so I add that there, and let's see here. Now let's start getting some of the flowers. Okay, so the flowers that I'm going to use is this one right here. Really pretty flowers. Love Primus flowers. And this is item number 655. Oh, I'm sorry. Take that back. Item number 580568. So I'm using those. I'm also going to use these flowers as well. This is item number 580575. Look how gorgeous those are. And then love these. This is item number 580582. Look at that. Super, super pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer real quick here. Where am I at the time? Okay. So I'm going to use this one. And what I like to do is when I'm layering my flowers, I like to place them down first. Kind of see where, you know, I like the way it looks. Once I do that, then I glue it. Not sure if many of you do it like that, but I just find it easier that way. That way I can change it if I don't like the way it looks, rather than, you know, just gluing it down. So I just do that first. Let me take a couple of, let's see what's that, here, I put the green flower here. And this way you can, you know, you can change it in case you change your mind and you don't like where you placed it. You can always put it somewhere else. You know, you're not, it's not permanent. So I'm going to take some of these flowers as well. And then I think I just place that here. And then, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna pour these out. I might have just pick for it. Okay, and then I'm gonna I place that one right here. So since I already know where I placed it based off of the one I've already created, I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous flower. So again I'm using the same glue. I'm just going to glue this down. So I'm just going to place that right there. Then I'm going to take this flower, really pretty. Just add some glue. And then I just kind of tuck that in the corner, like so. Just needs a second to settle in. So I'm, right now I'm just layering my flowers. Okay. up there. Is the light, is it too dark you guys? Because if I add the other light, it just gets too bright. Can you guys see everything okay? I need to work on them. Carrie, is it too dark? It's okay, guys. You guys can see okay. I don't know. From where I'm seeing it, it looks dark. It seems dark to me. 
Okay, so he said it looks okay. Okay, good. So now I'm just gonna glue the rest of the flowers down. Thank you. I was worried it was too dark. Okay, so I'm just gonna layer the rest of that. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Oops. There you go. Can you guys see that? Sorry. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to do, um, see, I'm going to work on this side with the flowers, okay? But first, before I do that, I'm going to add these, this tag right here. And these are the tag me, and the item number is 579487. These are really gorgeous tags. One comes with this cute little match book. It's really adorable. Super cute. But they have these really cute circle tags, ticket tags, and just all these assorted different tags. I'm going to use this one with the shoe because I thought it just went really well with the whole theme. So I'm going to use that one. Okay, and then I'm going to place that right here, just like so. I'm just going to glue that down. So you can layer these tags um, on any of your projects. It doesn't necessarily just have to be a tag. It's a really cute image. So I just place that there. Okay, and then I'm also going to use the chipboard and more. And these are really fun. It comes with th these really pretty coordinating feathers. You also get sequins, and I know that's really hot right now is sequins. And you get a ton of chipboard pieces, um, which is really cool. So I'm going to use one of the chipboard pieces and the sequins from this pack. And this item number is 579050. And this is a really fun pack. So I'm just going to go ahead and again the collection I'm using is the Bella Rouge. So I'm going to use, let's see, where's that one piece? Okay, I'm going to use this one chipboard piece right here. And then I'm going to use the sequence. Where's the sequence at? Oh, here. It comes with a pack of sequins. Really fun. Okay. So I'm going to use those. So, but before I glue this down, um, this is adhesive. It has adhesive in the back. But I like to add some, just some extra glue. But before I do that, I'm going to stamp this gorgeous stamp which this one item number is 579180 and it says beautiful inside and out and there are two stamps in here so one is a frame and then one is just the sentiment so I'm just going to use the sentiment so it comes out like so you can see okay I'm just going to add this to an acrylic block so just sorry my works station is getting full here. So I'm just going to add this to acrylic block. And then I'm going to stamp onto this chipboard piece. And I'm going to use some archival ink. Okay? So let me go ahead and stamp that real quick. And I'm just going to stamp it in the center. What I got right here. Love this stamp. This stamp is so beautiful and I just love the beautiful and inside and out. Okay, so now I'm going to take out the backing because again it is adhesive. I just add a little bit of glue. 
and now I'm just going to place it right here. And you can see where the tag, the hole was for the tag, I'm just going to cover that part. So just kind of place it like so. Okay, now I'm going to add the rest of the flowers on this side. So I'm going to take this large flower, super pretty, I'm going to glue that down here. Okay, so I'll glue that. And I'm just going to layer the rest. There's so many pretty flowers to layer with. To me, this is the fun part, just layering all these flowers. Okay, just go ahead and add, oops. And it comes with a super um, cute butterfly. Let's see where that butterfly is right here. Look how cute this butterfly is. And you can pop up the wings give it some dimension. These cute pearls in the center. Super adorable. So I'm just adding some glue to the butterfly. Just placing it right here. Just press it down a little bit. Okay. Um, I use this punch that I have for the leaves. And all I do is I just take one of the design papers that have green in it. Let's see, where's that paper at? Which one did I use? Make sure I use the correct one here. Oh, I, I use, well this has like a blue and green in it, so I use this one right here for the leaves. And I'm just going to punch out a couple of leaves. And I'm like Carrie, I, I turn it upside down just so I can see where I'm punching. I just need about four. So I'm going to place um, two right here in the corner. And I just curl up my leaf to give it a little bit of dimension. Just place it, tuck it underneath the flower. Like so. Okay, looks like that. All right, so I got all the flowers in. Okay, so now I'm gonna add these really pretty wood icons. Love these, love that mirror, really gorgeous. And this is item number 579548, really pretty. So what I'm gonna do, Hole here. I'm going to use this mirror. The pieces that I'm going to use is the mirror and this rose here. I'm going to use this really super cute rose. Isn't that adorable? And then the mirror. So pretty. So I'm going to add some glue. And I'm going to tuck that right here. And then this one right here, I'm going to tuck right under here. So just add some glue. Okay, just tuck that underneath, like so. Okay, so that's what I did there. Can you guys see that? coming along together. Okay, so the last thing I need to add is just the bling and the sequence, and then we'll be good. So this is the Satan Crystals. Love this, look how pretty this is. These are so beautiful. And this is item number 579357.
Okay, and I'm just going to add them around the flowers. Okay, so let's see here. I placed a green one right here. So I'm going to take the smaller green one right here and add it here. And then I added the darker, let's see here, the blue one right here. Oh, I think this is black. I tucked it right here. So just, you know, just place it, you know, wherever you want. Add that right there. And then I place the red one right here. I like to work in threes. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I like to work in threes. I think it draws more to the eye when you work with odd numbers. Place that there. And then I have a little green one right here. Just tucked right here. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to add, let me see, I had the, in the chipboard, I forgot to add the little perfume bottle, this one right here, isn't that cute? So I have to add that right here. Let's see, what time am I at? Actually, I've got to tuck this in. And that's another thing about this glue. You can move it even after a while. You can still move and it'll still stick, which is great. So I just took that perfume bottle in the corner right there. You guys can see that. So I tucked it in right here in the little corner. Okay, so that's what I did there. And then I think we just have to add the paper right here. And then it looks like the sequence, and then we're done. So this sequence is really cute. I like this. It's really tiny. You get a pack of the sequence with the chipboard pack. It looks like I added a red and green one. So let me just pour some of this. Oops. Let me pour some of this out. So I took a red one and then a green one. And I think I put a blue one down here. Right, yeah, and then a green. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue that down. And I'm using the same glue. I pretty much use the same glue for everything. So I love this glue. So I'm just placing the sequence right next to the bling. And then, oops. And then I'm adding these two right here. Okay. Okay, and I just have to add the paper on the sides and we're done. So I'm just gonna add these two strips and this paper right here, this is um, this paper right here, really gorgeous. This is called um, Melange. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, eight four seven one zero four is the item number. Really pretty. Oh, and this is the back. Look how pretty the back is. That's really gorgeous. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue that down, and then we'll be finished. Let me see here, how did I put that? Okay, so again, I'm just going to add some glue to the back of the strip. And just place that here. And this strip is one by 11 and a quarter. Okay. You guys can see that. And I'm gonna add the one on the bottom. So let me see if I put that in the bottom. Okay, right here. So it's again one by eleven and a quarter. And I'm just 
going to place that in the bottom. I should have done this first because now this flower that I tucked in the corner I have to lift up. But it's okay. I tell you this is the best glue ever. Because I could you could see I could still be able to move my flowers after I glued it down. Alright, there you go guys, that's it. Woo! That was fun. So you guys can see that. That was really fun. So that's how I created the tray. Really enjoyed this again. Um, my girls were my inspiration. Um, th like I always tell them, they're beautiful inside and out. And when they look at this tray, I hope that re this reminds them about that. And surprise, surprise, Carrie, I'm giving you this one. This is for Carrie, because Carrie's beautiful inside and out. She's amazing. And thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in to my sh very first show. I'm really excited. I had so much fun creating this with you tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and stop record. And um, for those of you that weren't able to uh, attend, you can watch it on Prima's U YouTube channel. And you can watch the show there as well. So thank you everyone so much. Have a good night. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and stop record. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, everyone. Bye.